Hey, welcome back to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today, we're making another southern favorite, smoked fish dip. So y'all stay tuned. <laughs> smoker. Today we're using the uh, Weber Smoky Mountain. We just got a few coals there uh, lit and we're going to start this guy up menu method. Just going to put those lit coals right in the middle. Got a couple hangers. These guys in the middle. We got our barbecue guru. Uh, party cue already hooked up. We'll go ahead and put the top on. Today, this is going to be one of the rare occasions that I use water in the water pan. I just going to put gel in the water. We want to keep these fish nice and moist. So, and we're going to use both racks, which I haven't used in a long time. Okay, here's our uh, here's our fish. We got only one mullet today. Um, this is best with mullet, but we have uh, a very, very nice Spanish mackerel and Mrs. Backwoods caught in Tampa Bay, and then we have a, uh, a bluefish. So go back to our video, smoke, how to smoke fish. We'll give you the uh, different choices on different fish you can smoke. I like the mullet the best for this. I uh, just didn't have enough to make the recipe. So, and we're going to fire the smoker anyway. So we're going to go ahead and uh, this is going to be way more than we need, but. We'll, uh, we'll eat the rest just straight up. Already got the Smoky Mountain going. All right, we got Smoky Mountain cranking here. She's up to 250, that's what we want. Uh, water pan in, so we're gonna go ahead and shortly we're gonna um, put those fish on. You wanna make it a little spicy on these? We're using a Plowboy's rub on these today. So whatever your uh, favorite barbecue rub is, um, that doesn't have a ton of sugar in it, it's gonna be fine. Uh, uh, if you don't want that, uh, salt, pepper, a little bit of uh, ground cayenne, um, that'll be great. Okay, on a Smoky Mountain, right before we get ready to put fish in, we're gonna just put in um, just one chunk of applewood, put him right in there. They're gonna get most of their smoke in the first uh, few minutes that they're in there so and don't so don't go overboard with this okay fish are on and it, as always with smoked fish skin and scales on we did fillet the bones off of these guys uh, optional go ahead and get them back on there and get them going smoking temperature 250 about two hours okay, check so on. after two hours you can see the flakes are starting to pull apart it's just starting to dry a little uh, maybe you can you got a lot of steam on the lens there so let's back up and try it again see how the flakes are starting to pull apart and it's starting to crack apart this is the time we want to, to go ahead and take it off we don't want it to get too dry and we just took those off and put them on a pan and we're going to let them cool down to room temperature before we start trying to handle them About two cups of your smoked fish. That's the uh, you know we we'll just pull that off the skins. Uh, make sure there's no bones in it. Give it a just a coarse chop because some of the chunks come off pretty big. So about two cups of smoked fish. Need one uh, one pound container of sour cream. We may not use all that. One uh, box eight ounces of regular cream cheese. Uh, room temperature. All right. Brought that out of the fridge earlier this morning, sitting out here on the table. Uh, room temperature is going to help a lot. Half a cup finely sliced green onion and or scallion. A tablespoon of finely diced garlic, half a lime. You're going to need a little sriracha sauce to taste. Ground, ground black pepper and Old Bay seasoning. All right, assembly of this is pretty easy. First thing we're gonna do is gonna put that whole softened block cream cheese right in our bowl. And we're just gonna kind of 
press, start pressing that down and mixing it into the fish. Kind of press it against the bottom of the bowl is the easy way to mix the uh, cream cheese with the fish. I find if you do this part here uh, first, the blending becomes much uh, smoother. So that's pretty well incorporated. Now I'll just go ahead and put in onions, put in garlic, put in uh, pepper to taste, and a uh, pretty generous amount. It's about a tablespoon of a seasoning. Go ahead and just incorporate that. Just to kind of get things uh, it's easier when it's stiffer to kind of get them to tell when it's, you know, when it's all mixed up. Okay? I'm reset here a little bit and get ready to put into the sour cream. Okay, now the sour cream is going to help us with the consistency of this. It's a little too stiff right now to use on crackers. We'll start with about half of this one pound uh, bowl or container. And we'll just start kind of moving that in. Let's go and lighten it up. I'm going to give it a nice, uh, a nice little bite from the tartness of the sour cream. So we'll have to mix it very well throughout this mixture. You can see how it's lightening up from the sour cream. I've tried using whipped sour cream with this and it doesn't really help. By the time you stir it in, it's kind of the piece of purpose. You see how much lighter that is now? And uh, you know, we want to kind of make sure we could dip a cracker without breaking your cracker off. So about half of that container was about fine for this amount of batch. So the consistency looks good now. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to give it a little heat. A little heat. I'm saying uh, sriracha to taste. Okay. Let's get that little fold in there. Now the juice of half of a lime, and that's going to freshen it up a little bit. You don't want to use more than a half a lime because it'll kind of curdle your dairy. Get that well incorporated, and then we're going to give it a taste. Needs a little more Old Bay and a little bit of salt. We'll go get that. Okay, we just gave it about a half a teaspoon of salt, a little bit of Old Bay. Just taste it, it's perfect. That balanced out the uh, lime. So, and now this needs to go get covered and go hang out in the refrigerator for a little while and it'll be ready to serve. Delicious. Okay, time for the plate up. Plate up is pretty simple with this. You can do it a number of ways. This is refrigerated now, so it is uh, set a little bit. We're gonna kind of make a ball. I'm gonna go right in the middle of a bowl here on a plate. And uh, I'll tell you one thing about this dish right now. If, you, if you're gonna make this to take to your next barbecue, fish fry, cookout, whatever, um, you better save yourself some back at home because there's not any of this coming home and this is going to be you know just for a couple people for garnish here we got some of the smoked fish these are the tail pieces there so we're just going to stab a couple of those down the, the whole smoked fish pieces then we have uh, some green onions sprinkle a couple of those over top a couple around the plate Then we're just going to sprinkle it with just a little bit of Old Bay for color. That's pretty good. And then around the sides of your bowl, you want to use uh, club crackers, okay? And uh, just arrange them around the side on your plate. So everybody knows this is a dip, although you, this is so good you could probably make a sandwich. So we'll just put the uh, crackers on the side, like so. You know, try to 
arrange them nicely where they're, you know, they're facing out where people can grab them easily. Just like that. And you're going to be a big hit with this dish right here. Believe me. Hey, thanks for watching the Backwoods Gourmet today. As always, please subscribe, share, and comment. We'll see you next time.